Hello friends, welcome back to our session. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the construction of DFA on length problems. Right. So here we need to construct the DFA for the strings with a given length. So let us start here. So DFA, first write down the statements. Let me write the statement. The construct DFA which accepts all the strings over an alphabet. Sigma is equal to, it can be A or a B or a 0 or 1, whatever it means, right? So we'll see AB because previous sessions we have seen 0 and 1. So for a change, we can go with an AB. So construct DFA which accepts all the strings over an alphabet sigma is equal to A and B, A comma B, where length of a string is equal to 2. So here these are the problems related to the length of a string. So here there is a constraint that the length of a string is only 2, exactly 2. So we need to construct the DFA whose length must be 2, the strings with length 2. First of all, let us write the language. So we need to construct, we have to give the strings the, with the length 2 or alphabet A, B. So A, 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 B, B, A, B, B. So only four elements, only four strings are accepted for this particular problem because so here the length of this string is 2 so the strings with length 2 or alphabet A, B, B, B only these four. So we need to construct the DFA for this one and you can observe only four elements that is this is a finite language finite, finite language Right? So in the previous sessions we have discussed about the language so that can be either finite or infinite. So all in the, all the previous sessions we have seen the infinite language but here we can see this is a finite language. Now we have to construct the DFA. So start with the Q0 and whenever it goes with A it moves to Q1. It moves to Q1 and again if it goes to A it will move to Q2 and it have to stop here because that is the end state. So A A is accepted. Now coming to A B. So Q0 upon A it moves to Q1 and now Q1 upon B there is no transition here. So simply you can see A comma B. So whenever Q1 is having a B automatically it will change its state to Q2 which is a final state. So this is also accepted A B and B A. So Q0 should start with the B but here there is a transition for A, there is no transition for B. So simply you can give the B so that Q0 on B goes to Q1, Q1 on A goes to Q2. So this is also accepted. And again the last one you can see Q0 on B goes to Q1, Q1 on B goes to Q2. So this one also is accepted. So this is the construction of DFA. So is it a complete DFA? No. Because there is a transition for A and B for state Q0 and there is a transition for A and B for Q1. What about the Q2? What about this Q2? So if you give this self loop, that implies, so n number of, uh, I mean the length of string may vary because for example, A, B, A, B, A, B, this is also accepted. Not only this one, so this one is also accepted with the length 3 because Q0 on A, it moves to Q1, Q1 on B, it moves to Q2 and Q2 on self A, it is a self loop, it will be there. So we have to give a dead state because other than the two length, two, I mean other than the length 2, whatever the input it give, okay, whatever the input it can be, either A or a B, in the n number of A's or B, it should go with a, a dead state, a dead state and here it should remain here itself. So obviously this will be the DFA for the strings with a length 2. Okay, so if you if the strings of length 2, then it will end at Q2. If the strings are greater than 2, it will move to the dead state and this is a dead state, right? 
So it will move to the dead state and it will remain in this particular state which is not accepted by this particular behavior. So this is the length of a string is equal to 2. Right? Hope you understood this one. Now we will see the length greater than or equal to 2. So we have to construct the DFA. So just practice for length is equal to 3, greater than or equal to 3 and all these things. So now we will see the length of a string greater than or equal to 2. So again it is a infinite because greater than or is equal to 2 means the minimum length of a string is 2 and the maximum can be n number of a's or b's. So first of all let us write the language. So here you can see a a a b b a b b. So these are the length of 2. Is it length is equal to I mean greater than or equal to 2 that means the minimum length is 2. Now go with the three characters a a a a b b a b a b a a b a b b b b and so on and so on okay and so on so three characters then four characters then five characters then six characters so n n number of length okay the but minimum is two so just write note on the i mean draw the dfa for length two so previously we have drawn right a comma b it moves to q1 and q1 on a and b it moves to q2 which is nothing but a final state so this is the dfa which accepts the length is equal to 2 now so instead of going to the dead state with n number of a's and b's the, it will remain in the same state okay it will remain in the same state so until this state the length will be 2 so for reaching from initial state to final state the length should be 2 so other than 2 it will not be uh, moved to this final state so after length 2 it can be n number of a's and b's followed by n number of a's and b's so that's why we have given the self loop with a comma b so this is the dfa so you can observe here q0 is having a transition for a and b q1 is having a transition for a and b and q2 is having a transition for a and b so this is the dfa which accepts all the strings where length of a string is greater than or equal to 2 right now let us change this one now we will see the dfa less than or equal to 2 less than or equal to 2 right that means this is again it's a finite again it's a finite first of all we will write the language so length less than or equal to 2 means the minimum length is a that means sorry the minimum length is 1 so a can a must be accepted b must be accepted so a b are the minimum length next equal to 2 so that's why a a a b b a b b only this one okay so again this is a finite this is a finite okay now let us check q naught q naught and you can observe less than or equal to 2 means what about the strings with length 0 length 0 so it should be accepted the empty string also should be accepted so if the empty string also to be accepted simply you can say the initial state will be the final state the initial state will be the final state so in this state upon a it should go to the final state because length 1 so a is accepted here and also if it is b it should go with the final state so this is also accepted so what happens if it is a and a so what happens here if it is a and a so a and a so upon a you can simply move to see if you use the self loop okay if you use the self loop you can see a a a that means length 3 this is also accepted a a a so don't use the self loop here so instead of using the self loop just move to the next state next state upon a go to the q3 which is again the final state so we have seen that so dfa can have multiple final states and one single state right so upon a it goes to 3 upon b also it moves to q3 and what about the remaining elements so if it is more than a it should not accept right so this is up to a all these things will be accepted here a 
B. A, A. Yes, A, B. B, A, B, B. Both are accepted. All are accepted. What about if A, A, A? Because Q3 is not having any transition for A and B. Okay, Q3 is not having the transitions for A and B. But in DFA, in uh, deterministic finite automata, every state should have a transition for all the input symbols exactly once. So that's why just go to the dead state with A and B if for the occurrence of A and B and again it remains in the same state here. So if the length of a string is greater than 2, automatically it will be rejected. Automatically it will be rejected. So this is how we can use the length of a string less than 2. So this is the DFA which accepts all the strings with less than or equal to 2. Hope you understood this one and uh, see. Now we will see the strings, length of a string is even. So again it is a infinite because construct the language L is equal to even length. Even length means A A A B B A B B even length. So A A A A B B B B A A B B B B A A etc. So the strings should have an even length. So you can see even length means we can we can mod with 2 so that we will get a 0 or a 1 as a reminder. Reminder. Okay. So if you divide the length of a string with a 2, so we will get a reminder either 0 or a 1. Either 0 or a 1. So simply you can see the reminder 0 and reminder 1. And go with a Q0 here and a Q1 here. So you can see that if it is even, the remainder will be 0. If the length of a string is even, automatically the remainder will be 0 if it is divisible by 2. So automatically, this will becomes the final state. Because the length should end here itself. And simply you can draw here, if it is a, a single one, okay either A or a B, either A or a B and you can simply give the transition for A and B. So you can observe here, if, if it is A, automatically it will move to the Q1 which is not a final state, so this is not accepted. If it is A, A, automatically it will, Q0 will move with the Q1 and Q1 will move with the Q1, so it is a final state. If you go with A, 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 so Q1, Q0 and Q1, right, which is not a final state and 4 A's. So Q0 to Q1, Q1 to Q0, Q0 to Q1 and Q1 to Q0. So this is accepted. Coming to uh, A, A, B, B. So A, Q0 on A goes to Q1, Q1 on B goes to Q0, Q0 on, uh, sorry, uh, Q0 on A goes to Q1, Q1 on A goes to Q0, Q0 on B goes to Q1, Q1 on B goes to Q0. Right? So Q0 is a final. So if you are using some five A's, you can see here 5 mod 2, which is nothing but 1, so it will move with a 1. So A, 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 and A. So 5 A's. Right? So this is how we can represent the length of a string is even. So representing I mean, the construction of DFA where the length of a string is even. And simply, if the length of a string is odd, if the length of a string is odd, so now we, we have seen the, here the remainder is equal to 0 and the remainder is equal to 1 and you can you can see so if the remainder when it is divided by 2 is 1 it is automatically odd so this will becomes the final state and nothing change for this construction of DFA. so here you can see so a b a a a b b b a b b b a a and so on and so on, right? So these are the strings with length odd, odd. And you can see if it is odd, the length of the string divided mod two will give one as a reminder. Okay. For example, one mod two, one. Three mod two, one. Okay. Four mod sorry five. Five mod two. Again, it will be one. Right? So that's why reminder 0 and reminder 1. So whenever we get the reminder 1, automatically it, will, it must be the final state. It must be the final state. So 
Q1 will be the final state and the transition for A and B you can simply go with the Q1 and if it is even automatically it will go with the non-final state right so if it is single letter automatically it will move with the Q1 and A A A so it will move with the Q1 Q0 Q1 again it is a final state right so I hope you understood this one this is the construction of DFA based upon the length of the string so just practice with the length is 3 4 and so on uh, so that uh, you'll be understanding more right so hope you understood this one uh, if you are having any doubts regarding the problems or length feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much